Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is David Nates and today I have a very fun topic for you guys. How to be successful on set. Hollywood is all fun and games until you move to the city and realize that things are actually much more complicated than you could have ever imagined. LA is a city full of life but it's an industry where business is its number one asset. As an actor, you'll be auditioning and eventually you will book something, be it a small student film, indie feature, or a role on a network TV show. Once you do book, it's important to understand what's happening on set. You see, each commercial set will have a ton of people working extremely hard in order to get the production filmed in a certain amount of time. Each person on set has a specific task that they need to do. You as an actor have for tasks to be able to translate what's on the page and portray it with ease. The biggest difference that you have between making your own short films and working on a professional set is that, well literally, time is money. Everybody is getting paid and not being able to perform correctly or be prompt will make the production lose money. Also, it can easily get overwhelming when you see so much at stake, but with a little bit of preparation and work, you can make any set feel like you're home away from home. Number one, work efficiently. TV sets move extremely quickly. There's a ton of things to take into consideration. Time of day, when the sunrise and sunset happens, budgets, actors that can only work a certain number of hours each day. Children, for example, they can only work eight hours in a day plus one hour for lunch. There are so many factors to take into consideration. This is why shots need to be filmed quickly. Whenever you get hired to be on something, you must come knowing your lines. This is very different from class where you can warm up or rehearse a scene a couple of times before you actually perform it. If you are hired as a professional, the production will assume that you are already trained and know what you are doing. Even the biggest actors continue training their craft. Jay just don't do it on a movie set. That's where you perform what you do best. It's always a double-edged sword because as an actor you will often end up waiting for hours on end till all the lights, cameras, everything is ready, but when they do call you, then you must be promptly able to perform, hit your mark, and get your part filmed. Number two, pace yourself. The set moves fast, but at the same time you need to be able to find the right pace within the dialogue. Sitcoms are usually 22 minutes, whereas an episodic is around 44 to 52 minutes. Usually the rule of thumb is that one page of dialogue is equal to one minute on screen. Dramatic pauses may seem fun in soap operas, but if you look at dialogue on TV, it is usually pretty fast paced. This is why you need to learn how to speak the dialogue out in a timely fashion. You can't go too fast, but if you do take too many pauses, the editor will have to cut around you and shorten the scenes as much as possible. This also doesn't mean that you need to speak quickly. Pace does not equal speed. Just work on getting full moments that feel natural but also don't take enormous breaks in between lines. An actor's job is to move the story forward. Get to the point and move the story with pace. It all goes back to the training you did before being on set. The better you are prepared, the more you can hit all the marks. Number three, know the basics. I'm not saying that you need to know everything about cameras and lenses. But if you're going to be in front of the camera, it's pretty important to at least have basic knowledge of how the camera is going to film you and how it'll make you look. A good exercise that really helps the actors is to film oneself at home playing out some scenes or monologues. This way you can get used to tilting your chin a certain way, smiling and doing different things with your eyes. The camera catches every subtlety and therefore it's important to understand the nuances that the camera catches in an actor's performance. Knowing how close or far each lens will put you in frame is a must. Also understanding the lingo, cowgirl, medium shot, close up, extreme close up, wide and many more. Each lens will tell the story differently and you will need to adapt your movement and performance according to what lens is used. One thing that you are very much allowed to do on set is ask the camera operator where you are in frame and what size lens they are using. This will show the operators that you are comfortable and know how to place yourself within the frame. Number four, don't seek positive reinforcement. In acting classes on many smaller short films or plays, the director will love to talk to his actors and be extremely supportive. When you get to the big leagues, the TV director is super busy and just trying to satisfy the creative vision of the writers, the producers, and the studio. There's so much money at stake. The director is on set earlier than you and will most probably work later than you. Sets are always one small mistake away from being held up because of technical issues. A professional director will expect the actor to come on set, deliver the lines, have a clear point of view, and deliver. 
Once the shot is done, they simply move on. Time is literally money in these circumstances, so don't feel bad if you didn't get any notes. Actually, that's probably a positive thing because you gave them what they needed on the production and now the production is able to move on to the next scene or the next shot. Personal validation is no reasonable expectation. I know that as actors we seek a little bit of positive reinforcement, but in these scenarios moving on is actually a good sign. Of course you might land on a particular director that likes to work scenes with actors, it's just not a given in a professional setting. Number 5. Enjoy the process. This is a reoccurring theme that pops up in a bunch of my videos. A lot of actors will replay their day over and over again and think about how they could have done things differently. What you must understand is that, first of all, if you are on a professional set, you got hired and accomplished that. That's already an accomplishment in itself. If you got through the scene and dialogue without getting any complaints, this means that you did your job. You are collaborating with a ton of artists and technicians. You can prepare as much as you want, but there are literally so many other things that can happen on set that are completely out of your control. Weather, technical issues, equipment breaking down, wardrobe mistakes, continuity mistakes. Just accept that you have to roll with the punches. So be kind to yourself and simply show up the next day or for the next gig and be present and in the moment. In the end, TV, movies with budgets and even without budgets involve so many moving parts that are interwoven within the complex dynamic of a team working together in order to complete a project. Train, memorize your lines and find confidence prior to your arrival on set. Once you're there, just be present, do your work and deliver. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Help me rise up in this whole YouTube algorithm thing. I love making these videos and helping you guys out. Talent and hard work will get you to your destination. Just don't get lost looking at only success when the journey is already exciting. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.